My name is Andy Halverson, we're here at my gym, Science of Eight Muay Thai in Birmingham, uh, with my assistant, Kauza Ahmed, and today we're going to go through five ways to work in the left body punch to wear your partner down as a tutorial for Warrior Collective. Okay, so first of all, again with the body punch, you don't want to dip down too low, and uh, the left hook to the body especially. If I turn my shoulder too far and I'm dipping really far down low, due to the knees and elbows that we can throw in Muay Thai, I'm exposed here especially for the left elbow or even the right elbow coming up. So I try not to, when I body punch, I try not to dip my body down. I can throw the left hook from here and I can land it clean. The area that we're looking for is there, just below the floating ribs. That's personally, I find that the best spot to be. Obviously it's personal preference. People have success punching body and it does depend on your opponent, their conditioning and things like that. But what I found over my career is no matter the level of the fighter, if you can work the body shot in, you work it effectively, it wears them out. Might not knock someone out, but you wear them out and tire them out to the later rounds, and that's when you can really start going to work. Okay? So from there, we're just gonna throw it single first. Obviously, it's much better to drive in with combinations, and it makes it more effective. You have more chance of landing the shot. But just to start with and get going for the first one, we're just gonna throw the hook to the body on its own. So from there, we're nice and close. You can't really throw it from distance, you can't get that position. So we're here, we could even just be touching, touching low, touching here, looking for a position, sort of jockeying to see who's gonna throw what. And when I'm ready, bam, turn in there. As you land the body shot, I prefer to punch up more than actually rounding in. It's kind of in between an uppercut and in between a hook. That position's coming up here. Okay, you're trying to punch right through your partner. So from there, just turn that back foot. I use all my body weight on my front foot. Turning all my body weight comes to my front foot. I'm not dipping my head right down, but I'm putting all my weight on that front foot so as I punch, I can drive, boom, I can really push through and drive into it. So from there, we're just gonna come here, just touch out with your gloves, get in that distance, and when you're ready, little turn of that hip, bam, up to the body. Get in there, here, just touch there, touch there, bam, up to the body, aim in there, okay? That's one of them, it's a very simple, easy and effective way to Put that body show you. If we just change sides, you can see the position and where I'm aiming for. One thing, always try and hit the same spot. Try not to have one going here, one going here, one going here, because it won't have the same effect. The whole point is the accuracy of the punch. So when I'm punching, we we'll use the t-shirt as an example. I'm going to aim around the start on the t-shirt. That's where I find it more effective. So from there, we touch that in position, and the shot. Touch out here, when you're ready, when you're ready, bam, land the shot. Okay, that's number one. Second one, we're gonna start working it in now. So we're gonna work off that jab cross. Just nice and easy again, it's another way to get that left hook to the body in. If we use that jab cross, again, partner will, instant reaction will be to defend the face. No one likes getting punched in the face, so you're gonna hands up nice and high, you're gonna come here, which leaves the ribs exposed and a nice position for you to turn in. So from there, same thing. And now, because we're throwing that right hand first, it gives your body a good position, natural body mechanics. You're turning in, so it gives you that way on the foot to drive that punch through. So again there, just touching, get in position, just pop your jab, pop your jab, and when you're ready, one, two, bam, drive it to the body, okay? Again, touch there, touch there, again, pop, 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 drive it to the body. Lock in position, okay? Just change that. Again, number two, just setting things up with the hands first. So we can go there, one, two, bam, come low. Again, I'm hitting the same spot every time. You can actually see in this face over here. So from there, pop that jab first, and when you're ready, one, two, boom. Little noise, I'm turning my knee into the shot. There, pop there, boom, 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 turn in, drop that knee. Okay, number two. Number three, I like to work it off right hand. I like working right hand into a lot of techniques. Um, I like changing my stance into left kick, things like that. And again, it's the same thing. I've knocked out a tie from a WMC in the continental tie with this exact shot. Just very simple, very basic, but just working right hand. Again, it's the same principle. Everything just to get them hands up. So you're spending here, so you're leaving this part of the body exposed. Okay, so we're gonna work here. We're gonna go right hand, and then we're gonna switch into left body kick. So we're going to go right punch, left body kick, I'm landing into it. Bit more complex, a bit more difficult, but you still get the same result. So 
I'm going here, I'm going to punch, I'm going to kick, I'm kicking high up across the arms. So I'm bringing and keeping his hands up. And as I land my leg, I'm landing in and I can punch straight away. Okay? Again, it's just something that I like. I find it quite easy and it flows well for me. So from there, get them hands up, touch our wee jab, and touch our wee jab. When you're ready, go punch, kick, and you can see it lands well. Okay? And again, so from there, just touch our wee jab, touch our wee jab, then punch, kick, and landing that shot in the same place every time. Okay? Side. So again, from here, touch with that jab, touch with the jab, and when you're ready, Pop the right hand out nice and straight, skip that kick up and land it into that position. Hit the same spot here. Go again, there, boom, boom. Pop right hand, kick high, back to the body, okay? Real time, so touching here, touching here. Punch, kick, boom. Landing, grazing right across the ribcage, okay? Okay, number four. What I like to do. It's a little hop. It's a good one to close the distance and it works for a lot of techniques. Just making your partner react. So sometimes we hear, that was fine. Just hop. It makes him, you can see it twitches. Just a little hop with your feet and it closes the gap. What I'm doing is lifting my leg, just hopping in. You see a lot of fighters use it. Okay, from there, a lot of fighters will hop and low kick, elbows, mix it up with various techniques. I like to do it with a body punch. So I can work here, I like working the legs, so it wears the leg out, and then start working to the body. So from there, hands up nice and high, just there, you've got a little hop up with your leg, lift, so it makes him react. Again, you can see his hands come up, and you can see him twitch, and you can drive that body shot in, closing the gap right there, hop, good one, you can land it nice and solid, you can hear the impact, you can see the winds on his face, and I'm not putting power into it there. So hands up tight, touch there, touch there, fake, bam, shot to the body. Just change side. Okay, from there, touching out, keep distance with your hands, play, 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 hop, up, bam, shot to the body. One more time, touching here, touching here. Just lift that leg high, all you do is lift in and just slide in your feet, just a little hop, so you're closing that gap. There, bam, coming through. Touch that hand up. Touch that hand up to the guard, and then just hop, shot to the body. Again, one more time. So there, lift, touch here, clear, shot to the body. Okay, one more. Okay, uh, this one, we're going to work it slightly different. So we're going to work from here, we're going to use, starting again, we're going to use that jab across, hook to the body, but we're going to turn it into an elbow through the middle. So you've got to think that we've worn that body out, we've worn that body out. He's starting to drop his hands. Every time I hit that body, it's hurting now. So now we can add something else to it. Rather than just hunting for this punch, because what you'll find is he'll start dropping his hands down and defending the body. So you'll see if we change position here, you'll notice when I've hit there, he's starting to drop his elbows in and he'll start to try and sink that in. We're going to work something else now. So there, we're going from that, working from that jab cross hook to the body again. So now, even if the hook to the body doesn't land, as he's dropping down here, boom, we're going to come up through the middle with the right elbow. So there, just going to touch out so the gums get ready, and then we're just going to boom, 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 through the middle, drive the elbow. So we're just giving another reaction, another way to get something else in, another technique. Nine times out of ten, that will still land, you can still feed it in, either coming up through the middle or going further around. But like I say, I want ideally the same spot every time. So there, one, two, hook the body, warm up through the middle. Even if he doesn't drop the elbow down, his guard's still wide open. That will hurt, hook through the middle with the elbow. Okay, one more time. So there, one, two, bam, bam, straight away. Just have a little step on the back foot. So we're going, stepping into the one, two, hook to the body. And all you need to do is push off that back foot again, and step forward, that movement. Sliding the back foot, a little step with the front foot. So from there, one, two, hook that body, step and slide into it. Make sure from this punch, this comes back here. The last thing I want to do is punch here and then try and elbow myself as he comes across with this. Okay, so your hands must be tight on your body shot. So there, here, one, two, bam, bam, up through the middle. Again, up through the middle. 
My name's Andy Halton. That was five ways to work the body punch in an effective way, wear your opponent down for Warrior Collective. For more information on my gym, Science of Eight Muay Thai, please see www.scienceofeight.co.uk. And for more tutorials, visit Warrior Collective.